I'm Ben Bolte. I'm the founder and director of Green Bike, Salt Lake City's nonprofit bike share program. Now, you may have noticed a few more green bikes around downtown over the last few days, and that's because since April of last year, the green bike program has literally doubled in size. That's the clap part, yeah. There we go. So Green Bike was the most successful small bike share in the U.S. last year. 6,100 people rode 65 bikes 26,000 times. That means that each bike averaged 400 trips over our eight-month season. Now, Green Bike is a nonprofit public-private partnership between Salt Lake City, the Downtown Alliance, Visit Salt Lake, the Salt Lake Chamber, UTA, UDOT, the Wasatch Front Regional Council, and Select Health. Our 2014 expansion is being funded by generous grants from the Wasatch Front Regional Council, Salt Lake City Redevelopment Agency, the Utah Department of Transportation, and the Utah Clean Air Partnership. But Green Bike has received an unprecedented amount of private sector support for a program of its size. I particularly want to thank our title sponsor and 2014 basket sponsor, Select Health, our helmet sponsor, Intermountain LDS Hospital. But 15 of our now 20 stations are sponsored by forward thinking private organizations like Key Bank, Backcountry.com, Harmons, Rocky Mountain Power, Radisson, the Tour of Utah. Squatters, The Rose Wagner, and Fidelity Investments. Our 2014 station sponsors are the Sheraton Hotel, the Utah Clean Air Partnership, the Salt Palace Convention Center, the Utah Office of Tourism, Film, and Global Branding, an agency of the Governor's Office of Economic Development. That's just one, just a long name. Three and Three Uncommons, and Wasatch Property Management. You're gonna hear from some fantastic community leaders today. Salt Lake City Council Member and Breathe Utah Policy Director Aaron Mendenhall, Sheraton General Manager Jason Ford, he might not be here, so you may not hear from him. Wasatch Property Management Executive Vice President and Chair of the Downtown Alliance John Dahlstrom, Utah Clean Air Partnership Executive Director Ted Wilson, and our City's Transportation Division Director Robin Hutchison. And without further ado, Aaron Mendenhall. Good morning. It's great to be here today. We're celebrating the city's ever-expanding green bike network, and I think it's wonderful that the Salt Lake City campus, Civic Campus, now has its own station uh, here at the city and county building. This great addition will enable residents to engage with local government and all the amenities that downtown has to offer in an easier and greener way. Green bike is getting people out of their cars and engaging them with their cityscape. It's increasing tra transit ridership and it creates a new level of safety for cyclists. Green Bank's environmental efforts also work on an ancillary level, discouraging urban sprawl and incentivizing infill development and downtown living. One of Green Bank's primary goals is to eliminate those unnecessary short distance car trips that happen all the time in downtown and provide that last mile connection between transit and your destination. I'm going to do a little plug here because anybody who has an Echo Pass or a Hive Pass or any other UTA Pass should consider also having a Green Bike membership. I have an exciting announcement today, but I'll tell you in just a paragraph about this. Um, one of Salt Lake City's finest employees, who's here today in a Green Bike shirt if you can find her media, is the Deputy Director of Community and Economic Development, Mary Delamar Schaefer. Mary gave us a wave. There she is. She rides a green bike as part of her daily commute from Alpine. She hops on Front Runner. She gets up here, rides a green, bri green bike over to the station a block away. But after today, she's going to be able to ride the green bike right here to this station. Yeah, now, Mary, any other city employee at this building, and all of our constituents can ride a bike and park it closer than they could park their car. So. Take advantage of this amazing new addition. Um, I'm pleased to announce that we have a doubling of the accessibility for annual members. As of today, annual members can take advantage of unlimited one hour trips for only $75 a year. So you can take as many one hour trips in a day as you can fit into your, your life. Uh, this is an incredible expansion from 30 minute trips. Each green bike last year, as you heard, was used 400 times a year, but what our city's bike program can accomplish 
is in direct proportion to the number of stations that we have and how many bikes we have in our system. I'll continue to support Green Bike as they work toward their, their phase four goal of 100 bike share stations across Salt Lake City with more to come. Let's get there. Green Bike increases the number of and or the percentage of female cyclists on the road. It improves our air quality and it increases public transportation use. It's an incredible asset to our downtown neighborhood and our local economy. Let's hear it from more Green Bike stations. Well, I'm John Dahlstrom. I'm with Wasatch Properties. Uh, we're a developer and we've developed uh, several apartment communities in downtown Salt Lake City. And um, these Green Bike stations are seen as a amenity that's helpful in making people make the decision to live downtown. They really do improve the uh, quality of life for downtown residents where they can pick up a bike, take it down to the grocery store, take it down to the track station and, and uh, just leave it there at the station and not have to worry about uh, what's going to happen with that bike. So uh, we, uh, more and more the, uh, uh, the uh, population is looking for opportunities to live in an urban environment and this, these green bikes help them to make that decision. That's a great thing, not just for those who decide to move down here, but for the businesses and the other um, uh, groups that are support the the residents down here so it helps our businesses grow and it helps our uh, economy grow to have this type of an amenity downtown um, it's not just the Millennials that are participating in this uh, green bike program 29% uh, of the riders were over 45 years old and 8% of the riders were over 55 years old so our entire community is embracing the idea of becoming more healthy and helping to keep the air clean by riding a bike and leaving the car at home. Um, uh, Wasatch, in our several different communities, we have the Cityscape Apartments, the Palladio Apartments, uh, Providence Place, and we're just building the new Encore Apartments on 4th South. Our, we're committed to the idea that living in an urban environment is a great way to uh, not just to live, but it's also a great thing for our environment. So. We're very supportive of the, the Green Bike program and we're very happy that it's expanded. Uh, it was announced that the uh, time that you can use the Green Bike has, has expanded and that's because of the community support that we have from great companies in our community that have you know, uh, put forward the money to make this deal work. So we're very happy with uh, what's happening with Green Bike, with the expansion, and we hope it continues. Thank you. Well, hi. You all look so cheerful. <laughs> um, I think this is the best thing that's happened to the building since they, <laughs> since they redid it. Um, and I was just thinking about all of this uh, practical stuff. The Green Bike is doing an amazing job, and that's why you care helped to fund it. Our board felt that to give people a way to get, make that connection between their home and tracks or whatever was a great way to spend a little bit of money. That's the practical side of it. But remember what a bike was to you when you were about 10 or 12. It changed your whole world. Uh, and to me, a big part of this is changing our view of the urban environment by slowing down, not to a walk speed, that's a little bit impractical most of the time, but to a speed that you can feel the trees, the outside, even the asphalt, and cross that dimension of hurry, hurry, go crazy, drive yourself nuts way of life we normally lead. To me, the aesthetic part of this is a big part of it. These bikes are easy to get, easy to rent, easy to move on, and generally easy to get back to where you started from or whatever you plan to do. Now, I have a bike at home, and so this morning I got on it. I rode down to the stadium. It's about uh, four miles 
took me not very long, 20 minutes or so, jumped on tracks and came down here. Now, I turned 75 this year. And if I can do it, even the oldsters can do it, all right? So I hope you'll embrace not only the practicality here, but the sheer joy of two wheels, because it's a big part of it. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm Robin Hutchison, the Transportation Division Director for Salt Lake City, and I'm here on behalf of Mayor Becker and the Community and Economic Development Department announcing this expansion, a near doubling of our bike share stations in Salt Lake City. We are ahead of schedule um, in large part due to the support of our business community, our sponsors, the commitment of Salt Lake City and the Redevelopment Agency, and expenditure of the, the Wasatch Front Regional Council's very first grant for the Transportation Alternatives Program. This is a new federal program aimed at increasing walking and bicycling in all of our communities in the United States. And we are very proud that we're able to use this important grant program to make bicycling more accessible and visible in our downtown and to uh, provide more choice in transportation so that we can improve air quality. Small statistic, <laughs> small statistic. 54,000 miles were reduced on our downtown and Salt Lake City roadways as a result of just 11 stations. Imagine what we'll do with 20, and now we have them. In a survey recently done by Green Bike, uh, we learned that approximately 85% of the people who use Green Bike said that they would shop more locally because they're now in closer proximity to those downtown businesses. So let's clean our air. Let's improve business and let's keep expanding Green Bike for the benefit of our residents, our visitors, and our air. <laughs> um, uh, there are so many folks who have worked really hard to make this what I believe is the most successful bike share um, installation in the country. The uh, Green Bike staff and Ben, amazingly dedicated staff. Uh, the board of directors is filled with incredibly talented people. Um, and the support of our elected leaders and the city in making this um, uh, an expansion that's ahead of its time. Uh, these are all uh, reasons that we can stand here and be proud of our accomplishments. Um, staff as well of the Transportation Division, you've done an amazing job in helping to locate these in the most visible and practical places throughout our city. Lastly, it's hot. I know everybody wants to go, so I'm going to talk fast. There is so much that lies ahead for bicycling in Salt Lake City. We are getting ready to expand our bicycling opportunities with the construction of our first protected bike lane in our downtown this summer, with another one to follow on on its heels in the spring. There is a direct correlation between bike share use and these protected bike lanes. Again, in that survey, bike share users will ride more. We know this if we can protect them from moving traffic. And we are working very hard to make that a reality in Salt Lake City. I want to thank everybody here today for their support, UCARE and the grant program, the council, uh, Mayor Becker for his leadership, the board. Thanks so much. This is a great expansion and a great day. One last thing, and I promised Ben I would, I would talk about this. Today is a great day to sign up. If you sign up today under the promo code GREENBIKE2014, you will receive a 25% discount on your annual membership. So sign up today and be a part of our solution. Thank you. And then real, we're going to have a quick announcement from Councilmember Kyle Amalfa. Hi, thanks. I'll just be a moment. Um, I, I have a gift for uh, Councilmember Mendenhall. It's actually one that every one of the council members is going to get. Um, but the greatest compliment to the, uh, the greatest compliment to your, your bike helmet that you get if you sign up for an annual pass is of course another fashion accessory. 
and that would be a green safety vest. That fits over my and, backpack. And this one happens to be custom made. Oh my gosh. City with the Salt Lake City Council logo. So all of the council members will be wearing safety vest as we ride our green bikes around the city. And uh, and I just want to let everybody know that, of course, this this is really makes you uh, not just not just safer, but but cool. This is the cool fashion accessory of the season. So thank you. I got to get me one of those. All right. Thank you guys so much for coming out. I'm sure our speakers will be available for one-on-ones. Have a fantastic afternoon and get yourself on a green bike.